Good morning, good morning everyone. Welcome to your functional fitness class. Um, hope you've been having a good week. Enjoy your class. Remember to listen to your body and just do what you can. And I will see you all very soon. Take it easy. Now go and enjoy. And sit nice and tall. Not really in the middle of the screen, am I? But that'll do. Okay, lift up out of your hips. Let's start by loosening up as per usual. Lift up nice and tall, belly button gently drawing back. Make sure you can breathe and just gently rolling the shoulders. Now once more. Good, arm circles. Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Other way, breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. And again, lift up tall and take it down and lift up tall and take it down good chin to the chest let's roll it down relaxing the arms and shoulders and relaxing the neck as we go when roll back up belly button gently drawing back so that we can lift the pelvic floor and again down deep breath out all the way and roll up and sit up tall, bring the arms out to the side and we'll do a little twist. And around to the other side. Let's do that once more, getting that spine moving. And last one. And back to the centre, let's take those arms down. Good, now we circle the hips. Around, loosening up. So it might feel a little bit stiff and hard to get that movement to begin with. Other way, around, let's loosen it, get the circulation running through the lower back. And back to the top, sit up tall, tuck the tailbone under and lift and under and lift. Make sure you're using that pelvis as much as you can to get that tuck. You want that bum tucking under each time and then you lift. Good, let's do one more down bring the arms out in front we seem to have blurred up <laughs> tuck and lean and pull up tuck and lean and pull up and again that's a little bit annoying come on focus tuck <laughs> it's not your eyes it's my camera <laughs> there we go <laughs> You start rubbing your eyes going, why, why is she all blurry? <laughs> and lift up nice and tall, arms down. Still lifting tall, circle your ankle. Other way. And changing feet, circling round. Other way. And changing legs, lift the knee for five. Four, belly button gently back, two, and one. Changing legs, pulling up. Control that through the center of the body, especially if you're on that fit ball. Good, let's stretch the leg out nice and long and lift one. Belly button back, sit up tall. Four, one more, and five. Changing legs and pulling up, one, two, three, four and five sitting tall right leg for five four three two hold the next one and take it out one open the hips two and three four one more and five other leg lift up tall and five four three two and hold take it out one, two, three, four, one more, and five. Take it down. Let's circle the hips again. Nice and big. Is it a little easier to move now that your lower back's warming up? Let's go the other way. Around and around and around. Stay with me, camera. <laughs> and lift up tall, arms out, pelvic tilt, one, 
and two. Remember, as you sit up, you're drawing the belly button back, but you can breathe. So try breathing out on the up. And breathe out. And breathe out. Let's do three more. Three. And two. Keep the hands below shoulder line. And last one. Now we're going to go deeper. Tuck and lean. Don't rest on the chair. And two. And pull up tall. And three. Getting that tummy activated there. You might be able to feel right up underneath the rib cage. It tightens a little as well as right down low. One more. And back and lift up tall good arms down all right bring the arms up shoulders down pistol grip open the chest and release turn the palms to face forward so you're making a diamond or a triangle shape with your hands try and keep your palms open like this forefinger and thumb glued together slide the hands behind you elbows out and push up chin tucked down and push up and down and push up still sitting tall down and push up pull those elbows out and lift one more and down and push up make a pistol grip at the top open the chest and release open the palms back to that diamond shape and elbows out one and two breathe with it make it easier for those muscles four one more five arms up and bring it down can you feel that in the shoulders as well as the arms give it a shake if you need to good arms out in front of you and tuck and lift up and tuck and lift up Keep the arms low and tuck and lift up. One more and tuck and lift up. Now with the right leg, one, up, two, up, three, four, one more and five. Change sides, be careful on the ball. You've got to make sure you're tucking that tailbone under, activating the center of your body, or the ball will be rocking from side to side. Good, arms up above the head, pistol grip, pushing back and open. And release, open the palms, diamond shape. Hail elbows out and reach up, one, and two, and three. And four, one more, and five. Good, bring it forward. Keep it low, make sure the shoulders are back. And tuck, and pull up. And two, and pull up. Really activate the center of the body. And four, and five. Add that leg, and one, and two and three and four and five last side and last side <laughs> two other side <laughs> three and four one more and five good arms down all right just relax those arms let them hang you can feel the circulation running down into your fingertips. Drop your chin to your chest. Roll it down over your legs, keeping the arms and shoulders relaxed. Belly button back, roll back up and sit up tall and lift. Good, okay, well done. Let's grab our elastic and we might stand up with it. So make sure you're not gonna trip over anything, that everything's out of the way and I might find my head by using Camera number two. <laughs> okay, holding at about shoulder distance apart. Let's take the arms forward. Shoulders down. Make sure again that those hands are not above shoulder line. Good, let's roll forward and back. And forward and back. And forward and back. And forward. And back, bring the arms down, pull back, and bend the knees. 
make sure those knees do not come together. They go straight over your toes. Two. And one. Bring the arms up, bend the knees. Elbows out, hold it there. We're gonna take that elbow towards the hip and pull up, same side. And one, and up. And two, don't stretch the elastic. Three, and four, and five. Good, other side, one. Belly button back, and two, three, four, one more and five, good, and stand tall, arms out. Right leg, are you ready to balance? If you're a bit unsure, then make sure you've got a wall beside you. <laughs> you don't have to use the elastic if you're using the wall. All right, you can always leave your foot on the floor as well. Bring it in, one, two, three, four, five. Change sides and pull up two, three, four, and five. Change sides again. One, two, shoulders down. Four, five, change sides. And one, two, three, four, one more, and five. Good, roll forward, stretch, 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 and relax. Feel the shoulders working though, can't you? And the arms, and back. Let's just do one more. Forward, and back, bring it down. Okay, just gently pulling back. Focus more on the shoulders and the stretch of the elastic and bend the knees, one. And two, tuck the chin, and three. And four. And five, arms up, bend the knees, elbows out to the right. One, two, three, belly button back, four. Don't stretch the elastic, change sides. One, and two, and three, four. Keep the chest up, we don't wanna lean forward. And two. Three, four, one more, and five, other side, and squeeze the waist, and two, and three, four, one more, and five, good, stand tall, arms out, take it forward, the lower you go, the easier that's gonna be on your shoulders, okay? Right leg out, one, and two, pull up tall, three, Four, chest open, five, six, seven, we did five, didn't we? Eight, oh well, nine, we only do once on each side then. Change sides, and 10, nine, pull up, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and bring the arms down. Oh, feel that release through the shoulders, don't collapse. Good job, all right. Let's get those legs moving. Pop your elastic to the side. Step, if you wanna use your step, you can grab that. Are you ready? We're gonna start with our basic step, a little bit like last week. Those arms moving as well, let's get that heart rate up. But strong, controlled arms, try not to let them just flop and pull on the joints. Okay, right leg leading for five and four. Belly button back, lift up tall, two and one. Now we'll change legs and one and two. Pull up tall, three, four and five. Good, let's go again, right and right. And right, right, one more. Now the left and forward and two and three and four 
and five and hold it take the feet about shoulder distance apart bring your arms out in front let's pop the right hand on top i've actually linked my thumbs underneath just for a bit of extra support and come down one and two and three now if it's hurting the knees you're going too deep remember and five let's do five more squeeze that butt as you stand and squeeze and squeeze two more and lift and last one arms down right foot forward and one and two don't trip over your feet and four and five other leg and one and two and three and four and five, change your legs, and one, whoops, I didn't change, and two, and three, I tried, and four, and five, change your legs, and one, and two, and three, and four, and five. Good, feet out, this time left hand on the top and down for one and two and three make sure you're hinging as you come down so stick your butt out behind you four and five let's do five more and five and four squeeze your bum and three squeeze your bum two and one pull up tall arms down good job all right we're going to do some little side steps side to side so we're going to bend those knees okay just as much as you can now don't take your step too big because that's when this happens and we're going to end up with sore knees all right keep it small and we're going to step to the right and then to the left then to the right and to the left it's not too hard is it Let's take the arms forward and back, forward and back. Take it forward, push it back. Open the chest on the back, forward. Now, are your knees still bent? Down in a squat, back and back and back. Good, push back. Push back, keep it small, push back. I know there's a lot to think about now, isn't there, guys? <laughs> Let's do one more to each side. Good, and come back to the center and you can stand up tall. Then we're gonna take our feet out. We can pop our hands on our hips for this one. Make sure that when you come down into your squat, you pull those knees right back over your toes so you can feel the inner thigh work and try to keep your back upright or as much as you can. And down one and two. And again, squeeze your bum on the up and squeeze and squeeze and squeeze. Five more and one and two, and three, and four, and five. Good work. All right, bring those legs in, give them a little shake if you need to. All right, are you ready for our side to side step? Bend those knees. If the knees get too sore, you come up a little higher, but they're still bent. Okay, don't forget your arms. Are you ready? To the right, and one, two, three, Push back. Nine, 10, let's go again on one, two, belly button to the spine, four small steps and five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more and 10. Turn the feet out and down for one, two, squeeze that butt, not too deep, three, and four, and five, and six, 
seven and eight and nine and ten good job all right shake it out all right we've got to do our lunge now then we can sit down again right leg lunging back and then in you know the one those arms moving again are you ready right leg going back lift lift again squeeze that bum as you lift we don't want to push the hips forward change legs and back pull up two pull up three weight forward four and five let's go again for the right lift two lift three four five change legs one two three four five good guess what's next it's our balance kick no let's do knee lift i prefer knee lift i like that one better and from what i've seen of people i prefer the way you guys do it as well <laughs> right so back lift remember it doesn't need to be too high but you want to balance so foot on the floor if you have to and two three four feel the pelvic floor lift five how's your balancing going let's try le the other one let's try legs let's try the other leg and one up we're doing it slowly so we get that little pause on the balance Let's try the other leg again. And one, two, three, four, five. Change legs. And one, two, not like that. Three, four, five. Okay, basic lunge. One, two, three, four, five. Same leg with the lift. And one, two, three. Pull out of that supporting leg. I know it's getting hard now. And five. You can feel that all the way down to that foot. Other leg. One, two, three, four, five. Now the lift and one and two. Feel it working down into that ankle, right into the arch of the foot. One more and down, shake it out. Well done. All right, grab yourselves a drink of water and then we're gonna do some push-ups and then sit down. Shake out those feet. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Are you ready for push-ups? Find your wall or your door frame, whatever you use. Ooh, how many shall we do today? Deep breath in through the nose. Hands onto the wall as you breathe out. A little wider than the shoulders. Make sure they're at chest height though. All right, step away from the wall, connect. So chin tucked, shoulders back and down, tailbone tucked under, feel the bum work, feel the tummy work. Are we ready? And off we go in slowly. One, two, three. No pressure in that back, remember. Four, breathe, five, keep going, six, Seven, eight, nine. I want you to hold the next one halfway. Halfway, hold it there. Shoulders down, check that posture. Chin tucked, don't look at your toes. Tailbone tucked under. Can you feel the tummy gently, gently working? Lower abs. And release. Bring the hands in front of your chest. Elbows pointed to the floor. Are you ready for triceps? And off you go in one. And two, and three, 
and four, stay connected, hold halfway, elbows pulling down into the floor and release, let's do that one again, and five, and four, and three, how you going out there, keep that chest open, hold the next one halfway, elbows pulling right down and release, shake it out, good job, all right, don't disappear, stay where you are. We're just shaking it out so we can do some more. Did you think we were finished? <laughs> All right, standing a foot away from the wall again, hands out wide, shoulders down, think of your posture, step away. Remember if it starts to get too much on the shoulders or on your lower back, don't go all the way in. Let's go. One, two. One other thing to think about while you're doing this is your breathing. Make sure you're doing it. Deep breath out through the mouth will definitely help. I think we've got three more. Three, two, holding halfway. Get that posture, shoulders down and release. Hands in close, elbows down and in for five. And four, three, Two, and hold, elbows down. You can feel the back of the arms working here. If it's in the elbows, you've gone in too far. Let's go again. And one, and two, shoulders down. And three, and four, and hold. Good, 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 and release. All right, now you can come back to your chair. <laughs> come and have a seat. Oh well, you know we haven't used our, which way do I need to go, this way? We haven't used our weights yet, so I think we should probably grab them. Even though those arms are going, no, no, we don't have to. <laughs> oh, am I the only one getting warm? Do I need to put the air conditioner on already? It's meant to be a nice day today, I hear. It's gonna be a hot one tomorrow though. All right, feet flat on the floor, sitting up nice and tall. Let's take our arms down. Remember, we don't want to lock up those elbows, okay? So try and keep your arms strong and a little bend in those elbows the whole time. Let's bicep curl in for one, two, three. Can you feel the arms working after those push-ups? Five, see if you can do five more. Control, three, Two, and one, take it down, hinge forward, right arm only, don't relax the left, keep it strong, right arm one, and two, pull it back, three, complete control over every movement, now the other side, and one, and two, three, four, and five, let's do both. And one, and two, three, four, one more, and five. All right, hands to the legs, loosen up those shoulders, neck as well if you need to. <sighs> Arms down, shoulders back, think of your posture, and curl in. And two, three, Four. Remember, if it starts to get too much with the weights, you can always pop them down and just squeeze those hands into fists. We've got five more. And four. And three. And two. And one. Arms down and hinge, right arm. And two. Three. Four, one more. And five, other arm. And one. Two, don't twist the body. Three, four, one more, and five, both together if you can. And two, and three, and four, and five. Good, hands to the legs and sit up tall, loosen up again. Good work. All right, are you ready to push upwards? Make sure you keep that chin tucked a little. 
bring the hands in close to your body. Now remember if you keep those elbows nice and low each time you come down, it's going to be a little bit easier, even though you've got further to push up, <laughs> um, it's going to be a little easier on the arms, okay? So chest open, right arm only, straight up and down, up and down, up and down, two more, up and down, sit nice and tall. Good, other side, up and down, chin tucked, up and down, and three, and down, and four, and down, last one, and down. Bring the elbows in so they're close to your body and lower, hinge forward, elbows back, chin tucked. Look at your knees, stretch those arms back, one, Two, three, four, and five. That'll do it. Arms down by your side, chin to the chest. Breathe out and roll down. Let the arms hang, but keep some control in it from the elbows, okay? So we want to stretch and pull through the shoulders so that we can feel that stretch in the upper back. Then belly button to the spine and roll back up. Use those tummy muscles and sit tall. Good. Hands to the shoulders and then bring the elbows out and lift the arms a little. All right, right arm and one and two, chin tucked, three and four, one more and five. Change, one and two, and three, and four, one more, and five. Good, elbows in, arms down, hinge, chest open, elbows back. Look at your knees and stretch. One, two, three, four, and five. Hands to the legs and sit up. All right, we're actually gonna circle the hips as well, relaxing those upper body muscles, shoulders, arms, neck, other way, good, arms in front of you, shoulders down, all right, tuck and lean, don't lean on the chair, so make sure you're sitting far enough forward, and pull up, and again, and pull up, and back, and pull up, and back, and pull up. Now we're gonna hold and twist. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Control, nine, 10, and lift. And back again, and one, two. Belly button to the spine. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and lift. And tuck, right leg, and up, right leg, three and up and four and up and five change legs and tuck and lift and two and lift three and lift four and lift five and lift let's relax those arms for a minute how are you feeling? If the shoulders are getting too sore, pop the weights down. You don't have to use weights for this. It's just a little extra challenge for you. Okay, ready to go again. Hands in front. We tuck for five and pull up tall. Remember the focus is in the center here. We want to feel like we're trying to bring the rib cage down to the hips at the front. And tuck. And tuck, hold it. Now we twist for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Pull up, other way. Do it again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And lift right leg and 1, and 2. And three, and four, and five. Other leg, and one, and two, and three, four, 
and five. Good work. Okay, now if you are on a fit ball, you're gonna need a chair for this one. We're all gonna scoot ourselves to the front. Still staying with the tummy and the legs getting involved as well. Weights as well if you can. Tuck and lean and rest on that chair, okay? So I'm just gonna scoot my butt further forward here. Bring those legs together, squeeze them together as best you can, okay? My hands are just gonna hold those weights so that they don't roll off my legs and they are right in the front of my hips, okay? Belly button is sinking back towards the chair and as I do that, can you see what happens with my body? I do this little tuck, all right? I want you to get that tuck and hold. And then we lift one and two and three and four, one more, five, good. Now, if you're feeling it in your back, what you might find is that every time those legs come down, you let go completely, okay? That tuck needs to stay there. So I lift, there's a little bit of work in the upper body as I lift, okay, because I am using my back. But that's why it's so important that these muscles stay switched on. So when I come down, I come down gently and I don't release, okay? So come onto the toes, keep that tailbone tucked under, lift and keep it tucked. Lift, keep it tucked. That's gonna support your back better using your tummy than it is the other way. Otherwise your back's gonna get quite sore quite quickly. Good. Let's roll those weights down the legs a little bit more. Okay, just as far as you can. We don't want to stretch those arms too tight. Like I said, we're going to use a little bit of that upper back anyway. When we start to lift, we don't want to start activating those shoulders as well. So long arms, I'm just holding onto those weights so they don't roll off my legs. Legs are together, belly button back. I still have that tilt. And lift, oh, it's heavier now. And lift, and lift. Now, if you're finding that too hard on your back, bring the weights a little closer to your body like they were before. Good, let's have a rest. So you can always roll them back, remember, okay? You've got to work within your limitations. The longer the arms, the further those weights are from your body, the harder it is going to be. Let's try five more. Belly button back. Don't release. One and two. Keep pulling back. Three, four, five. Good, now roll them back in. Belly button back. Take your feet a little bit apart and sit up without falling forward did you have to go <laughs> roll it down once you're down I want you to pop those weights on the floor just carefully try not to throw them down there you don't want holes in the floor especially got floorboards no chipping them and sit up nice and tall good all right how are you feeling bring your arms out shoulders down open out squeeze back and release Squeeze back and release. Squeeze back and release. Now when you release, those hands should be finishing in front of the shoulders, not in front of your chest. Turn the palms face down. So now we take one arm up, one down, and they slide down beside you. And then we come back to the centre. Where's the centre? Hands in front of the shoulders. Other way, pushing back and forward and back. And forward, and back, and forward, and back, and forward, one more, and back, and forward, turn those palms, stretch forward, reach, 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 and take it back. Once more, stretch and reach, drop the chin to the chest, and look forward as you relax. Open the chest again and squeeze back. One. And two. And one more. And three. Good. Take your arms across the body. Now, which arm's on the top? Is it your left or your right? Try and grab around behind you as best you can. Open right out. Now, the other arm has to come on top. So, hopefully, you know. And open out. And arms down. Good, chin to the chest, roll it down again. And roll back up. And lift up tall. Circle the hips, nice and big, really big. 
get your body moving and if you're back on your fit ball, get that ball moving too. Nice and big, so you get a good stretch and release. And the other way, and around. Last one. And sit up tall, good, grab your elastic. Oops, on the other side. Okay, so we grab our right foot. We're gonna wrap it around the foot like so, so that it doesn't come off. Okay, make sure you're comfortable and if you want, use the backrest of the chair. That's okay, because we're just here to stretch now. Bring those elbows in, get some tension in that elastic. Sit up nice and tall. Ready? Lift the leg. Feel that stretch in the back of the leg there. A lot of it's behind the knee. Take that elastic and pull your leg across your body. Now that stretch has gone down the side of the leg, the outside of the leg as well. Still behind the knee. Good, and release. See if you can get that leg a little higher. Good, release the tension, take it down. Change legs. Wrap it around your foot. Make sure the other foot is flat on the floor. Don't leave it tucked underneath you. Feel the difference. Tuck it under and feel what happens with this whole central area. And then there. How much easier is it to sit up top? Slouch, sit up. Let's sit up. Lock it in. Lift and hold. Feel that stretch behind the knee now. Deep breaths. Grab hold of the elastic and pull it across your body. Gently release. And lift a little higher if you can, or pull the toes back a little further. Keep an eye on that elastic always, okay? All right, release and take it down. Unwrap yourself, you can pop that elastic back on your chair or wherever it was before. All right, sit up nice and tall, let's roll down again. We wanna relax the whole back. Roll back up. Sit up nice and tall, lift out of the hips, pelvic tilt, and sit up tall, good, right foot, circle the ankle, change direction, and left foot, change direction, good, sitting feet flat on the floor, bring the arms up, hands to the ears, Lift the shoulders nice and high and relax them down. Open the chest gently and release. And again up, keep the shoulders down. Now lift them, but lower them again. Keep them down as you open gently and release. And you're finished. Well done, ladies and gentlemen. Well done indeed. Woo, how are you feeling now, guys? Well done to you all. I uh, hope you enjoyed your class and it won't be long now and I will be back here doing this live. So take it easy. Any questions about anything, please feel free to contact me, send me a text message and I will speak to you all very, very soon. Have a great week.